the EG, their draft is looking pretty solid. You also have the, you know, the Shadow Demon mixed with the uh, the Luna combo, right? Being able to make those extra Oh, this is going to be a kill almost for sure. Good. Oh, Ollie. Oh, he gets fogged. He, he, he walks into all five of them. They're in perfect position. The arrow connects and drop the EMP. They just want to make sure that this is nice and tidy. So this is a nice start for Abed. Uh, so if Ollie does this right, he's going to walk in front of the creep wave as he walks in. That way, if he gets disrupted by the time the arrow hits him, he's going to be fine. But he's actually behind he's it. He's a little bit bad. behind. Oh, Jerax already in position. They've got the arrow. They've got Nightfall here. Get the stomp. And they're going to make it very, Nicely done. very difficult for Ollie here. I mean, I suppose on the bright side, right, they're really keeping Crit over in this lane. He hasn't been yep. able to make any rotations early because, again, pre-6 for Storm, very important if you can find the opportunity. Yeah, but it seems like Storm's going to be fine. Um, with that said, Abed's doing great 12 denies against him. So he's got a big level advantage. Get a bash over onto Jerax. Oh. A second bash. A third bash. Get a third one. No, it doesn't look... Oh, oh there my it is. God. All right, look, that was... That wasn't three in a row, but that was really lucky. Oh, Holy shit. dear. Oh, EG. <laughs> I'm sure RTC's like, thank God it wasn't me this time. Dude, no kidding. You know, playing with his team, like he's on a bit of a different feel, but like so far, I, th I think he's playing really good this game. And throw out another disruption over onto Jakiro. They have the arrow. So, despite being a fairly tanky support, this is not looking good for Imperian, so he will eventually pop. The Storm, though, having got his 6 Rioya, going to try to get some of this damage off. Does need to be careful as a fault with the nice Bramble Maze. That Cold Snap, though, doing some work over onto Jarek. Did he finish him up? Oh, no, he's disarmed. disarmed. He's not going to be able to quite finish him off. He's got the Fairy Fire, though. He turns back around, needs a couple more clicks. He'll be able to get the kill on Jarek, and they follow up, though, on Crit. No, they can't. Abed gets the kill on Rioya as the teleports are coming out, but they're not going to be able to go and stun Abed. God, they all TP2. That Deafening Blast was freaking insane. Centaur and his hero is pretty good at this. This might be one of the reasons they feel comfortable with Jakiro in this match. But Abed, realizing that they were going to have that Jakiro all by himself, is going to put a little bit of pressure down here as Nightfall starts diving underneath this tower. We'll find Imperian. He's going to walk past him. Oh, they're a little bit off the mark. I thought that he definitely saw, but I guess the fog of war just a little bit off the mark. Simply two bases. Walk into Lil Nick first. Open up the disruption. Get a terrorize on top of it. Now, Flea just started to go, but gets immediately cold snapped here by Abed. They've got Dust. Trying to keep tabs. Turning it a little bit off the mark, but the jump forward here from Ollie will ensure that they get the kill on Jarax. As Lil Nick finding the nether strike over onto Abed. The stomp here from Nightfall. Is it going to be quite enough to finish off Lil Nick, though? It looks like it's not. Dire structure. Oh, yeah, realizing. Oh, are they going to be able to quite? Oh, yeah, the it. tornado into the arrow, the perfect angles. And Dude. that kill belongs to Crit. That's cool. Blink Dagger now picked up for Nightfall, so these initiations are about to get a lot scarier for the side of Simply Two Based. Go for a charge play over onto Jarex, but he's got disruption. They're going to go use the stampede, chase after Lil Nick. They'll get the terrorize over at the back line. So the stomp here coming out from Nightfall will ensure that he's not able to charge away. And they ping out that there's a ward over there. So that's going to be dewarded very fast. It's just way too dangerous. And they have no vision either. If you take a look, the map is so dark for the side of Simply 2 base. Yep, exactly. And in the meantime, what happened was Arteezy TP'd towards the uh, ancient camp. He farmed that for a while, and now he's coming back. So there was actually a big window to kill Jerex here. But when you have lack of vision, it's hard to make those decisions and to realize what's safe or not. Because if they try to kill Shadow Demon here, and there's like, you know, someone else sitting behind him, like a centaur or an invoker, you just die. Crit setting up here with Abed. And that's never the position that you want to be in. Yeah, this is this is EG's comfort zone without a doubt. They're farming the entire map. They did a really good job pressuring though. I think they did way more coordination than some of the other games. Some of the other games felt flat where they had advantage and then they just kind of farmed, but they didn't get like really far ahead. But we've seen a lot more rotations, movement, smoking, things like that. Imperia, and you've been down here for so long. Fog of War, Nightfall's gonna walk right into the Jakiro, turn around, double edge, get a sun strike off. Easy peasy. There's still a little bit more to come as Rioya shows up. So is Lil Nick. They're just destroying these buildings, though. As we'll try to take down the centaur. He's very tanky. Crit looking for this opening. They get the terror eyes off. And they're holding to place here, but they just can't seem to get enough damage off as the follow up over onto Lil Nick. They've got plenty of clicks coming out here. The stop over the back line. Nice tornado coming out from the invoker. They'll finish off Flea. They'll be able to finish off Lil Nick. The zip four. They really want this kill on Crit, but Crit, he's got the leaps. A little bit of silence being tossed out. He just cannot find the opportunities. Oh my god, Ollie Ooh. shows up though. Gets the cleanup kill on Crit and Jerax. 
And uh, I think he's just gonna... That feels good. No matter what happens, he's happy with that. Double kill like that, he probably got so many levels just there. That was pretty good. Three hits and he crit twice, actually. EG now looking for yet another play. They are smoked up though. Imperion on the high ground is gonna see crit. Open up with the Tornado EMP combo. They've got their eyes on the Storm, and he's just not having a game at all. As so Crit good. preparing himself here, trying to find this opening. We'll get that Lunar Beam off, and a couple more clicks on Imperian. It's just a double kill here for Arteezy. This game just feeling very, very comfortable right now for EG, despite losing those two supports earlier. He back, he's going to get a double kill. That's why you don't do it. <laughs> don't mess with Roche. Ooh. Not today. Into the arrow! These ground targeted spells are just the undoing of the Dark Willow. Oh no, they need vision on this. Okay. They got it, they got it. Now over into the Roche pit. Make illusions of the illusion as Lil Nick goes right through here. Can they finish on crit though? It's not looking like it's gonna be enough. Lil Nick just evaporated. Pretty neck and neck, at least with the Centaur. He's getting closer to the Luna. Bad sign. <laughs> It's not not great, yeah, no. <laughs> Jerax, it's a little Nick, so he wants his kill. He wants it so bad, but they're gonna handle him. It feels like Leap Forward here coming up for the Marana. They've got plenty of damage. The Skull Snap coming through on top of that as they're doing damage over onto Rioya. But Lil Nick eventually oh. will fall, but not before Rioya gets the kill on Jerax. You ever punch a book before, Moxie? Uh, only when I get real mad at it. <laughs> Stupid book. Stupid book, that's not how the it's supposed to, oh, a nice tornado gonna make it so that please not going home alive. It's going home in a body bag. Doesn't want to deal with orchid, pull, charge, any of that annoying stuff. Now illusions of the illusion. Just look at this damage coming out now. Oof. Smoke play onto the back lines. They want to make sure that they can find the right angle if necessary. Nightfall backing up right behind Arteezy this entire time. If they try to make any sort of jumps, he's ready. There's going to be a little bit of a jump here. The drag back. Can they do enough damage? So oh, close. no, they're not quite. Got oh, there it is. There's a crit coming out. So they'll be able to slay Abed. Now Arteezy, he's taking a lot of damage on the front lines. Little Nick, though, has gone a little bit too far. He was trying to go, trying to make a play, but that Lincoln's coming out. Little Nick will pay for being aggressive onto the back lines here as, again, Arteezy still has that Aegis for another two and a half minutes. It's going to start oh. cutting through these racks. Good dodge there. Another the Bramble Maze holding into place. You see on the back lines, they're trying to get the jump, but the Yule's coming out immediately. Here, Crick gets the air off. They need a little bit more damage to take down Ryoi, and they've got the stun, so they'll be able to find that kill. Now, Ollie, he's left all alone. He really wanted that kill on Jerex, but the stop comes out. The double edge, they'll go for the Eclipse, and they'll go right back into the base on the side of Evil Geniuses. They want Flea, and it's going to be a triple kill to get it. The hop forward here coming out from Crick. He was trying to finish off over to Pierre. The sun strength, not enough damage. All right, this looks like Evil Geniuses right here. This is what the EG fans have been waiting for. Yes, a very decisive victory. 16k gold advantage. Absolutely pressuring their opponents. They beat him in lane, they're beating him in mid game. Another stomp over on to Lil Nick. They have the vision, they have the sentry. I'm, yeah, that's your BKB and your buyback. So now EG basically just gets to back up on the map, played safe. They could keep going, but you know, pressuring tier four towers like this is just not worth the gamble in the slightest. They have utter map control, net worth advantage. Another skirmish. They found Rioya. They get the stomp. He has no mana left, and he's got just a little bit of health, but not going to be enough. Abed chases down Rioya. And there's the BKB popped on Abed. He would like to get another kill. He'll throw out the Chaos Meteor, do enough damage over to Flick. He just does enough right off the bat. What's happening? Oh my god, my. <laughs> Jerax, there's going to be the disruption coming out. Lil Nick is a lot of damage. It's not going to be enough, though, to save him as he is going to get chased down here. Ali also now running for his life. The GG gets called. Simply two base realizing that this time EG came to play. <laughs> Might have, yes. Middle lane here, both of the, uh, the core sitting a bit low here. We've got a fairy fire over on Rioya. Abed dragging back should be able to maybe get off enough damage here. Yeah, this is looking pretty good. He is slowed though. He's gonna throw out the high five, but. For the record, he could have killed him earlier, like a quarter of a second, but he waited for the high five first, knowing that the kill was gonna happen. Like, oh, the dragons will attack him. No, they attacked Rubik instead because <laughs> Rubik aggroed with the, the stun, I suppose. Mm -hmm. 
And then Jarek's got to turn that around. Ends up buying out before he dies. He's going to fill his inventory back up, go back to the lane. Ooh, the shards though on Ollie. That's a kill for Nightfall. Hirgen is totally out of mana now. He was trying to protect. Oh, he should have just gotten him there. <laughs> it feels like he's like, wait. Oh, oh, yep. Yeah, okay. All right. Here we right, go. Follow it. up. Meteor Hammer. Crit with the tag team. The shards. Good impale over on two, but it's not enough. And this is where things start to get very, very scary now for Simply Two Base. They know that they're taking these stacks. They do approach. They have the ward over on the cliff side. Jerax, though, gonna throw out the ignite. Slow down Ollie. Not gonna be able to quite land the remnant here as Lil Nick makes his way over. They want to punish Jerax. Jerax hoping that he can get the nine. No, he's not gonna be okay. able to get it. So, look at the rotation that they just made to protect Ollie. Uh, the denial over on the mid tower. They don't want to give this up for free, but Nightfall already in position. Waits patiently. Meteor Hammer off here. Over onto Lil Nick. The Fall Tag Team. The Shards will punch everything. Snowball will stun in place. And that's just a threat of a Tide Hunter that's no longer there anymore. It almost looks like bubbles. It, it does look like ice or something. I thought yeah. it was the Persona at first, but it was not because he's got it too. It's like one of those, hey, you're rich. Oh, you, here's this cool effect. Jerax finally getting punished by three heroes for being in the jungle. Bottom lane, though, they're trying to make the play over onto Rioya. They've got the snowball. Not sure. Oh, the shards coming into play. The step four from Abed. And there's going to be the clicks down. This is not looking good for the Queen of Pain. Looks like they tried to make a play over onto Crit. Just not going to be able to get their hands on them. Not yet. So this game reminds me a little bit more of EG. Ooh, Rioya. So far. Big fire blast. The big taunt. They've got the Walrus punching. They did a little bit more damage. They've got the they're gonna be able to lock him into place. Zimperia now cut off from the rest of the team. No mana left over here on crit. They'll move forward slowly. Jerox trying to consider do I go back in here? Poking here and there. Once Void Spirit gets Axe, this can be a lot easier for him to fight as well. He can drop on Rubik or Nyx very easily and solo kill them. With a hunt for Rioya. Abed setting up here with the Yules. Get that remnant down, and a big hit from Crit. Man, Rioya has not had a game. I don't think I've seen a single Sonic Wave. He's 0 6 and 0 right now, actually. I mean, he's the one who has to play the more risky, right? Because he's the one that's got the escape, but. It seems like EG is anticipating a lot of his moves, and they're just showing up. But it's often it's just Nightfall and Crit together, feels like. A little bit of a steal here coming up from the Rubik, but uh, the drag back. Look at this Crit already in position. They're going to try to punish Lil Nick here. They do a lot of damage to fall for the Ravage. They'll get the kill on Crit. Rest the team now. Stun trying to find the opening, though. Again, they have their eyes on Lil Nick. He's very, very tanky. They're going to go for the Meteor Hammer combo again. We'll be able to land a couple clicks here coming out from Arteezy. And the Mystic Snake is going to be quite enough. That's going to be a kill for Arteezy. Just went to disassemble over on Ollie to get the BKB. Top tier two, possibly dead. We'll see if we see a Glyph here, but I don't know if they want to commit it. They're going to do the safe thing, put the sentry down in case Nyx is setting up. They really want this kill oh, on Rioya. Nightfall says, I've been waiting for that for the last couple minutes. Bop is the person that keeps farming the dangerous parts of the map, and they just keep punishing her. That's that's basically the story of this game. That's one of the reasons Rioya has died so much. Mm, Flea was trying to go for that uh, swap over here on the outpost. They dropped the Sanity's Eclipse on him as Ollie now runs away. Crit finding him over here in the tree line. Does have the Eclipse if necessary. Gonna throw out a loosened beam. Step forward here from Abed. Knight falls here and just every time that any of these EG, uh, sorry, the uh, two base heroes show up on the map. A little bit of a mo moment of disengage there for EG. But they're still cool. just absolutely controlling the map. Yeah, we've got a full Aghanim Scepter completed now for the Outworld of Hour. That's a good one. That is indeed a good one. He's found himself a little nick. Doesn't have the Meteor Hammer this time around, so he's going to have to rely on Crit to throw out some of these slows to keep him in place. Is it what a barrier blocked him? He pressed it right after, mm -hmm. but he must have taken the damage and was, un was unable to blink. Jerax just casually fighting with Rioya. The rest of the team is coming in, though, so he's got to be careful. Ignite the follow-up, though, here from Abed. Flea's going to have to get the lift off. Toss back immediately. The step forward, though. Chasing after Flea. Looks like Nightfall is the one who's going to be chasing after him, but Pyrian will fall, Flea will fall, and Rioya just prays that they don't take a look in this tree line. Level 4 Ignite stolen by Rubik. Is this going to change the game? No. But it's cool. Aegis gets reclaimed while this is going on. Rioya trying desperately to just continue to push out. 
Snowball, though, hot on his heels. Abed, the follow-up. The gang squad is here to murder Rioya yet again. This poor Queen of Pain. And again, Rioya, a good Queen of Pain player, but it just has not had any moments of breathing in this game at all. I think he's like 0-8 now. Like how do you fight into Deuce here with this much HP? He's got the Fire Shield. There's an Ogre here. Definitely can't fight into that. <laughs> He's a very powerful ogre. We've talked about this. Jerix has actually played ogre like magnificent this game. Like he's made the ogre look good, and it's literally just because of game sense and knowing where he needs to be to be annoying. Like I'm actually really impressed how he's been playing. Great yeah, tonight. I... So he's just gonna stay hidden. Abed hopefully leaves. He cuts the creep wave. He can't kill this one certainly, but maybe the next one after he'll kill. So he'll just stay put for a moment. Nice. Run. Oh crit with the blink away. He's gonna get the lift off though. Be able to. Are they gonna? Yeah, they're looking to re engage here with that snowball. All bad way, Page Lee, a sonic wave. Not gonna do much of anything. Okay. There's a kill on Empyrean here. This bloodlust been helping out quite a bit. Crit using that snowball. We'll use the walrus punch over onto Rioi to get the lift off just to try to protect. But Flea is just a little bit too slow. He's a little bit too poor. He doesn't have those items that are going to ensure that he can escape. So that is another kill going the way of evil geniuses. Empyrean trying to keep tabs over here. Might be able to cancel out the work? He is he's gonna reveal himself. Not bad. Yeah. Good start. It's a good start indeed, but Arteezy just doesn't seem to mind too too much. They turn right back around again. Empyrean will pay for this. There's a BKB coming out from Luna, but they just aren't able to to get in there fast enough. Alright, doing some decent damage, oh. but again, oh no, the Ravage not going to work with the great Astro Prison. Ollie will fall. Little Nick is gonna get caught down in two base. They've had enough. They're gonna tap out.